Tip Tap Tap is an interactive school desk and it's embedded with a suite of touch sensing technology. What we've done, we've then combined that with a suite of software learning applications. The reasons we've done that is to really improve learning outcomes within the school. If you look at the current environment in the classroom, when a teacher asks a question in early years, learning maybe a four and five year old, they might ask something as simple as what, what is two plus two? Um, today, what generally happens is kids raise their hand, not all the kids, but you know most of the kids will raise their hands and the teachers will choose one child to give an answer. And even with the introduction of the interactive white Board. Uh, the same kind of thing is happening, but except two plus two is displayed on a whiteboard now. But again, kids raise their hand, but only one or two children go to interact with the whiteboard. So there's a big lack of disparity between the kids that get to, to interact or, or to participate in, in, in the learning material that the teacher's providing. But with, with Tip Tap Tap, what we've decided to do is if every child has a desk that they work from, let's make that desk intelligent. Now, when a teacher asks a question or displays it on the whiteboard, every child can interact simultaneously from their desk. N not only do every, does every child get a chance to participate, but we also give the teacher real-time assessment feedback and that's very powerful. So now if a teacher has 30 inputs from 30 desks, teacher can see who's getting an answer right or wrong, um, who's answering and who's, even who's not answering. But very important things like if a child answers a question right every time, but it takes three times longer to answer that question, well, that could be indicative of a learning difficulty. And it's impossible to manage that through manual assessment right now. So through the use of our technology, um, embedding touch sensing technology into the regular everyday uh, school desk, we're actually going to be making uh, learning more efficient, improving learning outcomes, and actually improving the efficiency of a teacher's workload on a day-to-day -day basis. I suppose with the Internet of Things, you know, it, it, it's a term that's been around for a couple of years now, and really what that is effectively telling people is that everyday objects are going to become intelligent. They're going to become inter uh, connected to the Internet. Tip, tap, tap desks are no different to that. So if, if we look at the current uh, environment in the classroom, it, the desk is a natural part of that environment. Um, we don't want to introduce new gadgets, or, or uh, even though we are introducing new technology, it's, it's, it's seamless, it's ubiquitous computing is what we like to call it. Um, again, it, it promotes collaboration within the classroom. Things like a child um, uh, of four and five years of age who learns how to write. Um, you know, we, can, we can allow the support of, of tracing on the desk, the support of printed materials. So if a child writes inside their copybook, we can actually track what they're writing just have by having the copybook on the desk. And that all happens through the natural environment. We haven't introduced a new tablet or a new big device that has to be plugged in. It's just the desk. And a desk is something that the children have been using all day, every day, anyhow. And that's really what the Internet of Things is about, is making things that you use every day connected to the, the network, making them intelligent, but doing it in such a way that it doesn't really impede upon your everyday life. You don't have to change your behaviours to actually interact with these objects anymore.